Okay, for question three, we have this uh, MOSFET circuit. Okay, so uh, if we look at the circuit, we have this these source here connected at minus two volts. We have the drain and the gate connected at the same potential here, VD. So this is also VG, right? VD and VG, they're going to be the same. Then we have a VDD of eight volts. And we have to determine, so the, the, the question here is to design RD such that VD is equals to three volts. So indeed, we also know the value of VD, that's three volts. Also, we know that the process transconductance is 25 microamperes per volt, right? Uh, I think it should be squared here. Um, the width of the channel is to 20 micrometers, the length is 10 micrometers, and then the, the threshold voltage, it should be VT here, right? It's one volt. So first we know, let's, let's uh, equate that. We know that VG is equals to VD, which is given by the problem to be, it wanted to be three volts, okay? And we also know that we have VS equals to minus two volts. So from these two uh, cases here, we can calculate VGS, and that's equals to VG, which is three volts minus VS. So this gives us five volts, right? It's three minus minus two, which gives us five volts. Now, if we assume that it's operating in the saturation mode, right, then we know that the current ID, it's going to be one half of the process transconductance, 25 microamperes per volt squared, times the ratio between the width, so in our case it's 20 micrometers, divided by the length, which is 10 micrometers, and I'm just like, well, I could use like the units here, but they will cancel out, uh, times VGS, which in our case it's five, minus the threshold voltage, which in our case it's one volt squared. So this one here gives us a drain current that it's equals to 400 microamperes, right? Now, the problem says that we want VD to be equals to three volts. So what should be the value of RD? So first we can equate the, the voltage VDD minus the voltage drop across the drain resistance to be equals to VD, right? Because that's what we have here. So we have VD at this node, then we have a voltage drop here, and then we are left with VG or like VD here. That should be three volts, okay? So that's the equation that we have. Now, if we isolate RD in this equation, then we get RD equals to VDD minus VD, right? divided by ID. And this is the same as eight volts minus uh, VD, which in our case, it should be three volts, right? Minus three volts divided by 400 microamperes. And this gives us a drain resistance that is equals to 12.5 kilo ohms, okay? So that's the final answer for this particular problem.